Hello and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town. And we're here today for our annual event at Woodbridge High School for Cast a Can When You Cast a Vote. This is a program that we started over, where's Peter, over 10 years? Where's Peter Barcelona? There you are. About 10 years ago, uh, a teacher from Colonia High was on vacation in Rhode Island, and she saw that um, the, the town there had the program to let people know that when you come to the polling place to bring a can, uh, a can or a box of perishable food, and it, she brought the idea back to us. We started it. It's been tremendous. We've collected thousands and thousands of pounds of food because of this. So in the election on Tuesday, November 5th, each of our 36 polling places will be equipped with uh, cans and boxes to, for people to drop off uh, what they can while they vote. And then these kids behind us are going to get in their cars and drive around and pick everything up, bring it over to the health center where it'll be divided up uh, among all our different 11 different uh, food pantries and soup kitchens. It's a wonderful program uh, for the people in our town who need it. You hate to think that in Woodbridge Township people go to bed hungry, but the fact is that people do. So we want to do all we can to help them. Let me uh, call up now uh, the man responsible for the food drives uh, in Woodbridge Township, Peter Barcelona, who um, recently was awarded with the key, the first uh, group of keys to the township on June 1st at our 350th anniversary in recognition of all the work he does uh, to help people who are hungry in Woodbridge and the surrounding towns. Peter, can you say a few words? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. As the mayor said, we always appreciate the uh, help of the students behind us, the Woodbridge High School students, uh, the students from Colonia High School, the students from John F. Kennedy High School. <laughs> Just, just so we know, uh, we feed. We feed is a organization of 11 food pantries in Woodbridge Township. Our organization feeds roughly 600 families uh, around Woodbridge Township. It's very important. Uh, the food drive here today uh, that will be kicking off on election day, as the mayor said, will be in uh, 11, uh, 36 different polling places. Um, 11 different food pantries receives that food from from the drive. Um, we feed as a whole collects about 100,000 pounds of food a year. Our food pantries feed roughly 600 families per month. So the need is great. We make it very simple. Uh, in all the polling places, there's really a box or a can. Kindly bring your food to the polling places, drop off your food. These great students behind us from Woodbridge High School, Colonial High School, JFK High School, uh, will be at our polling places bringing the food back to the health center. So on Wednesday morning, that food will be in our food pantries feeding the poor in Woodbridge. So we appreciate any help you could give us. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. I'd now like to call up the uh, tremendous principal of Woodbridge High School, uh, Glenn Lottman. We come here all the time for this event. Uh, I say all the time that whenever there's something going on in town, when there's even one kid from uh, Woodbridge High School, it seems like the principal, the vice principals are always out there, three of them for one kid. Uh, that whether it's the choir or any kind of teams, uh, all the games, Glenn Lottman is everywhere when it comes to the students of Woodbridge High School. I'd like to now ask Glenn to say a few words. All right, thank you very much. I'd like to thank Mayor McCormick, uh, Mr. Barcelona, and uh, Dr. Zegar, our superintendent, for allowing Woodbridge High School uh, to, to uh, participate in this fantastic event. I'd also like to thank the uh, young men and women behind me. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you know, Election Day, Tuesday, November 5th, is a well-deserved vacation day for these fine young men and women, and they're giving up their day to drive around town to uh, collect all the food, bring it over to the food pantry to make sure our citizens are well-fed and well-nourished. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You make me proud. Thank you. All right. Now we got a couple of uh, people who either volunteered or were volunteered to speak. I'd like to call you up one at a time. Just come on up, say your name, and when you're done, just turn around and throw your can or box into the car. You want to start, young lady? <laughs> tell us uh, what you think about the, the, the whole program. But tell us your name first. <laughs> you can, you can kind of hold on. Okay. There you go. Um, I'm Cameron Taylor, and I'm happy to be able to donate to the people in Woodbridge that are hungry and don't have the food that we all get to have. And so I'm excited to be able to do this. And all right. Next up. Hi, I'm Trinity Eason, and I'm honored to be part of such a tight-knit community who comes together to serve for people who doesn't, who can't, aren't as fortunate as us all the time. So I'm happy to be able to donate. You, you're a track star, right? <laughs> <laughs> aren't you? 
A little bit. Aren't you attracted? <laughs> you are, right? All American. All American, yeah. I recognize your name. Yeah. You're pretty famous. Yeah. All right, good job. Good job. All right. Yeah, that's me, Mayor. Yeah, you know. Hi, right, Dizak. Hi, I'm Matt Dizak, and I'm happy to just give back to others, you know, people that are less fortunate than us. And yeah. All right. <laughs> Now, you I know from Mayor's Trophy basketball tournaments yeah. forever, right? What's your name? Isaiah Smith. All right. You still you play here now? Mm hmm Do you play varsity? Yes. Wait, you're a senior? I'm a senior. This you're a senior already? I'm a senior already. Man, I remember you when you were in fourth and fifth grades playing ball. <laughs> you were phenomenal, man. And you won the MVP of, like, half the Mayor's Trophy tournaments you played in. Yes. Go ahead, man. Tell me what's going on. Um, hi. <laughs> I'm Isaiah Smith, and it just feels great to give back to families that are in need of food and anything else. And that's really it. All right. That's good. Next up. Hi, I'm Dayton Rankins, and it's just a blessing to be able to give back to families in need, and it honestly feels good that I'm helping other people. Number 11? Mm -hmm. All right. How about that game last week? Yep. <laughs> oh, who was here last week? Who, yeah, who else? Who, was, who watched the game? Who was at the game? I was in the game. You were in the game. You were in the game. Who else was in the game? All right. Who else was cheerleading for the game? Who was at the twirlers for the game? Who was in the band for the game? That was an amazing game. Where's the, where would he go? Where'd he go? The, the Rankins, come here, man. Tell me, you got to talk about this game, man. <laughs> I mean, you were down two touchdowns. It was You got the first score, and then they scored three in a row, but they missed that extra point, right? Yeah. That's... They missed the extra point. We're talking about the missed extra point. That was key. <coughs> Excuse me. Special teams so, is important. Oh, yeah, no kidding. And then you got two quick touchdowns to come out of the second half. What did the coach tell you at halftime? I don't know. He was just telling us that we need to get fired up because it was a slow first half for us. And he was just saying we need to pick it up in order to win this game. And, and when you did. got to the end, when they got the ball back with, I don't know, 53 seconds left, it was yeah. a lot, 95 yards to go. But they got that big 6-6 <laughs> receiver who's <coughs> probably going to play big college ball. Were you, what were you thinking at that point? It was just scary. Like It was just heart racing to see that they was just moving the ball pretty quick. But right. then our defense came out with the win. All right. Yeah. Great job, man. Great job. Last guy up. <coughs> Hi, my name is Kana Da Silva, and like everybody said before, it just feels so great to get back to the community for people in need and for families that don't really have as much. And yeah. Cast the can, we cast your bowl.